Hey everyone and welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight Game Night. Today we are going to cover a review copy we got of Flotilla from WizKids Games. So this is releasing at Essen next week. Yeah, Very retail, excited. retail in December. Yeah. And we are joined by our friend Brie Goldman. He can't join us because Flotilla is a three to five player game. Yes, it is. And we're only two people. <laughs> we are one, two, three. I can do math if it's up to five. We're good. You know, no more than like, 10 is pushing it. We're good. You ready to do this? I guess. I mean, so this is designed by yes. JD. JD I Howell. I know, JD, JB, it's, it's too similar. Howell and Mike McGill Six. So we just did Mike McGill Six game. Um, Manchuko. Manchuko. That yeah. quick replacement that we played not too long ago. Yep, from awesome. Penguin and Panda. Yep. Uh, JB Howell did Papillon mm -hmm. uh, and has a few other games that are coming out, I believe, in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Reavers of Midgard, uh, which released at Gen Con. And this is going straight to retail. You can pick it up. I believe they're going to have, early, like you said, early copies at Essen. At Essen. Retail in December is what I've heard, and uh, we're here to show you what the game is like, how it plays, uh, how things uh, go. Uh, there's a lot happening in this game. It's pretty heavy. Uh, you can think Concordia Plus. Uh, it's got the Concordia mechanic of utilizing cards to mm -hmm. take actions, but you're going to be long-range planning and setting up turns uh, pretty, pretty far mm -hmm. out there, oh, you yeah. know? Like trying to chain things, things together. Absolutely. And one of the things I think is cool about the game is there is a hundred points per play to start. That's like the scoring mechanic. And when those 300 points in this case are gone, that triggers the end of the game. Right. So it's player controlled. Um, when that, when it's gone, mm -hmm. you go to, uh, to some in-game scoring that might occur. Yep. Right? Yep. Bree, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, excited. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm... Goldman, I <laughs> just put her on the spot. You didn't know where no one told me Vegas? this was coming. No, you can talk I live, you're I live in Las Vegas. I've been playing games all sorts of life. And we met you at Gen Con last year. We did. Yep. Peter Vaughn in introduced yes. us. Yes. It's been good a lot times of fun. ever since. It's true. Uh, and you um, are here to play with us, and we were very excited. We actually got a quick, um, I wouldn't say quick, we played, <laughs> we played a game earlier where <laughs> we were, uh, a couple hours, yeah. This is a long game, too, so yeah. keep that in mind as you're playing. This is a heavy Euro game, and uh, it's something you probably build a game day around. So, without further ado, we're not going to keep boring you with details. We're going to dive into uh, the gameplay. I'm going to kind of give you a broad overview of how the game plays. Uh, we're in the comments, Lizzie's in the comments, I'm here as well. Uh, great to see everybody here. Uh, I see Jim. Um, let's see here. I can turn down the music a little bit. I'm not sure what's they're saying. It's a great game. Yep, I see David Abelins here. Shane, Shane's in the comments. Oh, nice. yeah. Hey, Shane. Uh, Shane Fowler is one of <laughs> one of your local Game yep. gamers. Yeah. Concordia Everyone. Plus with card play. <laughs> Shane says, "Stop it." <laughs> <laughs> Shane, I feel your pain. Yeah, and you do play another round after after you uh, trigger the end game. But we'll get all through all of that again. Um, we try not to get too deep in the beginning. That's true. Scotty, don't want to overload you. Scotty's here watching. Scotty <laughs> played earlier. Scotty, uh, we didn't finish. That's why I didn't text scores. <laughs> to be fair, because <laughs> he it's said true. to we let him hungry. know what happened. Yeah, we we needed to. Yeah, so. we got hungry. Uh, we do have a, ki a child right now that's transitioning uh, <laughs> with their sleep time. So we do apologize if you can hear our child uh, in the background. He just knows how much fun Flotilla is and is sad to be missing out. Yeah, he's very upset that we are live streaming without him. Mm -hmm. uh, but thank you for joining us tonight. We're super excited to bring this one to you. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, in Flotilla, you are trying to, you guessed it, score the most victory points. <laughs> You're going to score victory points for a variety of different things. You can score victory points off the survivor track. You can score points off of raising the sonar track. You can score points when you are lowering uh, or uh, buying or selling resources. You can gain victory points when you complete objectives. Uh, there are some other ways to score victory points off of the cards. Uh, but we'll talk first about the four different guilds. There is a guild uh, for the speakers, the delvers, the founders, and the traders. And uh, all the cards are asymmetric. They're going to play differently. And they are actually doubly asymmetric in the fact that they are different on not only their front side, but also on their reverse. 
Because we haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> One of the absolute coolest things, and Bree, you played earlier, so you you know, yeah. uh, probably the most unique thing I've played in board games is the fact that you can flip all of the components you control, and you can go from sink side mm -hmm. to sky side. And you play this, you play in the same game, but you play differently, right? It mm -hmm. changes completely, like flips everything you did on its head. Yeah. And everything you were doing before is now different. Mm -hmm. And you are now interacting with players differently. And you're playing a different game at the same time. Yep. Instead of selling stuff, you're buying stuff. Instead of going around and collecting stuff, you're just trying, yeah. It's, we'll explain it as we get there because you start out on the sink side, you can fit any point. Um, there's yeah. no thing you have to reach, no requirements. But once you flip, that's it. You cannot go back. Yep. You were never required to flip. No. So you play the whole side sink side. You could flip to sky side on like the and just anytime you want. You could never flip. Who knows? If you're enjoying what you're doing with the sink side and you never want to flip, so be it. Uh so over here on the guilds, this is how we gain members of that guild, which you guessed it. When you gain them, they go into your hand. Mm -hmm. Um and then we have these guild influence tracks. You're going to move around these tracks. There's a little bit of area control. As I kind of explain what's happening in the game, you're going to see a lot of pieces of other games here. There are a lot of mechanisms from some of our favorite games. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got area control over the different guild houses, and you gain control by doing a full circle around that. There are uh, bonuses you'll gain as you move there. Uh, the sonar track is twofold. It's gonna the top level is for sink siders, and this other bottom track is for the sky siders. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we'll talk about that when it happens. We're gonna start out here in the uh, flotilla. This is where we're gonna start. Uh, I will be the first player, uh, which means that I'm going to gain uh, looks like five coins. Lizzie, are you second? So All I'm right. gonna get. Okay, and you have your points there. You're going to go off like this. And then, Bree, you want to flip yours over, and you're a third player. Yeah, there you go. There. And then Seven. you'll be like that. All right, great. So seven. we have started. Yep, seven. and Bree's going to get seven. <laughs> we have one of these ships. Our ship is going to go in our dock. Boop. Right there. Right here. Dock. Yep. And this is where we can unload our resources. So our ship's going to go out into the sink, uh, into the ocean, and we're going to scavenge for resources. Uh, you're going to do that through rolling dice, uh, which are going to determine what you're able to gain. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to run into pollution, uh, depletion, nuclear fallout, all sorts of fun stuff. And then you're also going to gain the resources, mm -hmm. which you're going to buy and sell in a player-regulated economy. The players are going to determine how and when the prices change on all of the various goods. If you've ever played Raccoon Tycoon, uh, what are some other games you mentioned? Arkwright. Uh, Arkwright, Clans of Caledonia, where players completely determine prices. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening up there on that track. Um, okay, so let's talk about some of these cards. And I'm going to slide them right over here uh, in front of Bree. But this is a scholar, mm -hmm. and it can copy... The Anyone. top card of any other player's discard. As long as you are both on the same side. Correct. Sky side or sink side. Mm -hmm. Then we have the speaker. So this is a card that lets you gain influence in the different uh, um, guilds. Mm -hmm. So you can gain two or one on three different ones. Mm -hmm. And these are all starting cards, by the way. These mm -hmm. are cards we're going to start the game with. Uh, we have the founder, which is going to allow us to draw ocean tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, who's got the ocean bag? I've got the ocean bag. So we've got this ocean bag that we will draw tiles out of, and that's how we are uh, exploring the ocean. We have, I just talked about that. The, I'll talk about that last. Trader is going to give you money and allow you to make transactions. Transactions are important because for each transaction, you can buy, sell. Um, or purchase. Things. Yeah, or purchase upgrades like new skiffs, your outposts. Um, your Your oil <laughs> derricks, right? Everybody starts with derricks. <laughs> then we have our delver this is the uh this is the the guild that's gonna let you go out and start diving and finding resources and then we have the captain if you've played concordia you know that there's a card that lets you gather your hand back up the captain is the card that you play and it returns all your cards back into your hand mm -hmm. so you can keep playing so mm -hmm. it's kind of like your reset you can play your captain as much as you want you can play one card captain and keep going back and forth you can set up those turns however you want which is extremely satisfying so we're going to stop Derek from talking anymore. Sorry. And we're <laughs> going to start the game. 
so that we can explain it and show you how it works because it's going to be way more effective in letting you know how the gameplay works. It's true. I just wanted to talk about that I real quick. I just you know, wanted to throw there. I didn't cut you off in the middle of it. You know, I let you get to get <laughs> how about, to how, Lizzie, tell something. me what happens if I if I buy an oil derrick, though. If I buy an outpost, what, what do I get to do? You're going to put it out on a place that has a spot for it, or you mm -hmm. have to pay extra. Right. And that's allowing me to score an objective. Yes. So there are six different objectives in the game. We have this side. This is the sink siders objectives. Mm -hmm. You can only complete those if you are on the sink side. Mm -hmm. And Bree, you've got the sky, sky side one. ones. Yeah. And so you can only complete those if you're the sky side. All right, I let's do this. that when we got to it. Yeah, I mean, whatever. that's not like... I just wanted to explain what people are seeing on screen. All mm -hmm. right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take my first chart, and I'm going to play the founder. And I'm going to draw three tiles and place two of them. Now... These ocean tiles could have toxicity, which is bad. So let's draw and see what I got. Oh, look at that. No toxicity. No toxicity. What a pull. All right. Now, deep tiles, you'll see this deep blue. It can only be placed next to medium blue. And you'll notice that. What's that? Oh, I do get a third. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was just excited about no toxicity. <laughs> you just wanted me to draw toxicity, Bree. <laughs> That's what it was. You were waiting. All right. So you'll notice on this tile that it has a toxicity. I have to raise, uh, you would raise your toxicity meter. And at the end of the game, if this is all the way at the right side, you're going to end up scoring negative points. So I get to choose between two of these. Well, this is interesting because you'll notice on this that there's an artifact right here in the top corner. If I connect three of these colored together to make a circle, I get to find a long lost artifact of the ancient world. So I'm going to take this and place it here. I'm going to take this one because it's orange and place it here. This one, even though I'm not using it, I still gain the toxicity because I drew it. Um, and I get two movement on my boat. So at the bottom of each of the sink siders, you'll notice in this bottom left corner, there are, there's a numeral, and that allows me to move my skiff. So I'm going to move my skiff right there. That's it, that is my turn. So it's play a card, take an action, pass your turn. Bree can attest though, it's not quite that simple. <laughs> yeah, not quite. <laughs> Sounds so easy when you say it like that. I am going to play my speaker so I can gain two influence on one track, or, or on one guild, or one influence with three different guilds. So I both. I'm gonna do it on three, and over here I'm gonna get one coin for doing that. And then I can't. I mean, I could move mine in, but I don't have anything to trade in, so my skip is just gonna stay there. Sure. Sure. That's my turn. Right. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thank you for playing that founder. Got a scholar. I got a really cool hippie scholar over here that wants to <laughs> wants copy. to copy that that founder. I drew how much lot. toxicity? Four. Oh my gosh! But Bree, you drew some really great tiles. Can I see one of those? This tile is a it has all three symbols on it, so that's a great tile for Bree to, to own. But that takes me all the it way. It does up. take you up. And Pretty resets bad. you, yeah. Oof. Not off to a great start with that. But I'll, Unless I'll you can cash that. in on those artifacts. That yeah, would be, that'd be two, helpful. Actually, two of them. Yeah, have you drew all two have all three. That's actually really soft. Sure, sure. The Simon's here. Glenn, hello. Oh, that's right. Glenn is over in, in Essen. Essen. Yeah, we've got a lot of friends over in Essen. Hey, everybody. Or at least in Germany. Yeah, that's fair. Either Germany or I think people are all over Europe right yeah, now. Yeah, Kind of doing some travels. Yeah, why not? If you can go to Europe so cool. week, why wouldn't you? Absolutely. Okay. Three has finished. Mike, I should ask you, by the way, Mike Mahil 6 says, every time you use Bree's camera for component close-up, it feels like you're invading personal space. <laughs> Bree, can I show this piece off? <laughs> it's I, only I because can that's share. the great... Like, you can share it. You can just be like this. Here, please show this. Backing out. I could also, like, do this, but there's, like, crazy glare, and you don't really get to see it as well. Uh, well all there's right. Some, there's some empty space. There's some empty like space. right here. That's what I'm kind of doing. I'm trying not to, like, super invade <laughs> on what's happening and be like, ah, 
<laughs> I'm going to copy your founder. So you I'm playing would. the Scholar, which allows me to copy the topmost card of anybody's discard. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, but that speaker would be solid. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and copy your founder, which is going to let me draw three and keep two. Welcome. Thank you, Bree. <laughs> Thank you. But please, if I draw... Oh, my goodness. Double toxicity and another toxicity. So, so three. that's three. One, two, three. Three resets. Oh my gosh. See, move up one. Beep. Yeah. Lame. But I did. You knew get, what you were getting into. When I you knew. This. I knew. <laughs> I knew. So this is level two, which means I can add a deep next to it. But that does allow me to close off Ooh. an artifact. The first artifact has been discovered. Mm -hmm. I get to go in this bag. Mm -hmm. The <sighs> microwave? Or the Mona I don't Lisa? Know. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I would get movement from your founder, which is two. But I'm gonna stay where I'm at. I don't. I don't want to move my skiff. Uh, I found. Thank goodness we found a coffee press. We've been saved. <laughs> we have been saved. I need five coins, please. No. And then we're gonna slot this right in there. Thank you very much. Okay. That's my turn. I'm gonna do my delver. So I'm gonna need some dice. So I'm in the level two water. Okay. I don't get any movement. So you're currently in level two, which means you get you a, a medium. Okay, and then it's. It's going to give you two shallows. Yep. yep. All right. And we'll let you roll those right there. Okay, so. I get three barrels. Yep. And I'm on blue. So three blue barrels. Okay. And you're also going to gain a survivor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move the survivor track up one. So which gives me. Uh-oh. Already losing. Starting up. Lizzie's already <laughs> scoring the points. Point. And then, and then that's anything? double sonar, which means currently the sonar track. So anytime you roll, if you don't mind me showing this off, Bree, uh, anytime you roll this, oh yeah, put it in your hands. <laughs> put it right there. That symbol right there is a barrel of the color <laughs> <laughs> and the sonar, which is the sonar track. Right now it's at a, it's at a wasteland. So Lizzie's going to gain a toxicity. Otherwise it could be better if someone's on the sky side. So, is that oh, it? Yeah, I'm done. Hey, I don't, I'm not ready to flip yet, okay? I have plans. <laughs> I'm play my sister. Add me. Uh, Jim says that he's predicting that we're going to run out of table space. This is a table hog. Uh, it takes up oh, quite man. a bit. And really, it's, you know, I've noticed this. You, you need help? On this yeah. Oh, uh, just once? Uh, yeah. And, and once here? Yeah. I've noticed that any tile laying game generally kind of just gets out of control because you have so much control and there's not much you can do about it. Yep. Uh, it's not really a bad thing. No. All right. Is it my turn, Brie? Yes. I'm going to play my speaker and I'm going to go up one on the founders, one on the delvers, pardon me, Lizzie, and one on the speakers. And I get two movement. I like where I'm at at the moment. Me again. I am copying <laughs> you, but I don't have my scholar, so I can't oh, hang actually on. copy Please. you. Please, on here. Yes, yes. Anytime you dive, they're going to go onto your skiff. You then have to use your skiff okay. to move them and un unload them. Your turn, Lizzie. Okay. I'm going to use my I'm going to Derek's. So I'm going to go. Two. So I'm going to move this up, which gives me a card. And oh. then I also get a card here. I'm going to take two. Wow. Speakers. Well played. Because this happens to be my favorite track. Well played. So these are going to go. They go to my Discord. What? No, they go to your hand. hand. They go to your hand. You can use them. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Use it. <laughs> Get up. James Hudson's in the house. What up, James? Those are good. I like the speaker house a lot. I, I also too. like the founders a lot. The founders let you build out your map, which is yeah, really I, feels just good. It depends on how you like to play the game. They totally. They are all awesome. And the designers have their own people in there. They do. I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a... Hey, look at this. There's a mic. There's a mic. There's a mic. I'm a heel sick. <laughs> Show other and then he turns into on the sky side. Look at that guy. He's the analyst. Yeah. There you go. Also. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> you know what's up? Two or one. In the south. I get ocean tile and card, and the card has to come. 
Yes, you gain the yeah, you gain the card from you went up on that track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I gained this artifact because and uh, so here's the here's the artifact copy press. Whenever you draw it, you get whatever's listed on it. So this is a five five coin, and then you flip it over and it tells you which of the guilds it goes into. Uh, this goes in the green guild, covering up the green symbol, and then you're gonna raise the uh, guild track for um, for finding that artifact. The green guild says thank you. You can also raise the guild tracks through uh, research dice as well. Mm -hmm. No radiation. Dang. I, it feels good for you though. You gained a lot of radiation yes. that first time. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I am going to play the Delver as well. Uh, Lizzie played that earlier. I'm on deep. That gives me a deep dice. And two shallows dice. That's again, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. That is what the card gives me. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a roll. Let's see what I got. Uh oof, man, sonar. So two toxicity. One, two. And then uh three red. barrels, and I'm on red, so I'm gonna get three red barrels. Which and I'm gonna, gonna pass go. to Lizzie. Okay, I am gonna play my emissary, which is one of the cards I just got. And it says uh that card is influence so good. with two different guilds. So two influence at two different guilds, then rescue a survivor. So I'm gonna go so good. from here to put one of my yep to put a seal out seal out. So, so that's a little area control mm -hmm. or area majority, I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll also go here. It's gonna give me one resource, resource of your choice, and it goes to your reserve. So which color do you want? Okay, yeah, just go all in and blue. Go for it. And then it. I'm gonna take Mike. <laughs> And I guess I might as well move this person. Okay, so Mike it. was correct. Okay, yeah, the guild dial doesn't change when you draw the artifact. It's when you make a lap around the survivor track that you raise oh. a guild. And I rescue survivors. By so I go here. drawing the artifact. And I'm going to get two. And off the research of the research dice when you're a sky sider. Okay, so, guys, cool. I'm at three points. I'm like, we're getting crushed. 1% of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> I will play my Delver. Diving deep and two shallow. Oh, okay. So how many deep? One. One? Okay, you got a deep and two shallow. You're right there. I set you up perfect. I knew that's what you were going to do, Bray. Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. So that looks like a, a depletion. Yep. Goes up one. Yeah. Uh, here's a depletion, depletion marker. marker. So on these dice, some of the dice have this symbol, which is a depletion which means you have to place a depletion marker on the tile you're diving from, which means it's no longer available to harvest resources. Now that can actually work because one of our objectives this game actually wants you to deplete your uh, your tiles. So honestly, that may not be a bad thing for you. Oh, wondering, sorry. I'm over here just chatting. I wouldn't have left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't need to trade, so I'm actually gonna use my captain to pick up my cards. I get a coin for each card I pick up, uh, plus the captain, which is five coins. So I'll take my five here. No. Uh, and then I get to move five, so I'm gonna move my uh, gif into my dock. I can unload for, as a free, as a thing to do. It does not stop my movement when I move into my dock, so then I can continue moving for four, and I'm gonna go all the way out. Do I have green? No. I'm gonna go to this blue one, like that. Uh, and then that is all. That's it. I'm gonna play Sounder. I need yep. Ocean Tile. Go for it. Three. Okay, so that one doesn't have any. This one has one, and this one has one. So I'm gonna go up two. Oh, no. Double. It's okay. I think we're all right there with the toxicity. <laughs> you don't wanna dive too much. It's true. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do yellow. You gained. Oh yeah, you gained. Right yeah. Cool. Oh, that's two outposts for you. I know. That's really good. So cool. We'll talk about outposts when I go brief. Go ahead. Place oh, my I navigator. Can Are you gonna use your movement? Yeah. This is the card that I just got. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So what does so, that one do? Uh, let's me draw four ocean tiles and place three of them. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 
a lot of radiation. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Take such it. a good pull. That balanced out nicely. Unbelievable. <sighs> Great. Yep, That's the nice. green track's on one. Boop, it's right there. We got one on the blue, the red, the green, the yellow. Nobody has uh, increased the guilds quite yet. Uh, and the reason that the guilds matter is for mostly the Sky Siders. Uh, in fact, just for the Sky Siders, for when mm -hmm. they score, for how they score. Well, I just completed my pull. Circle. Oh, draw the artifacts. Right on. Great. <laughs> I have discovered sewing machine. Oh, that's going to be important in case we rip our 12 coins. Our uh, close up. All right, so 12 coins for Bree, and this goes to, wow, a green, another green uh, guild. Solid. Hmm. And then the tile placement's really interesting too because you have to think about what you're drawing and how you're placing it because Bree has one of the shallows, which is this lighter blue. You can't place those next to the deeps ever. So mm -hmm. um, you have to kind of create this ocean because you have to think about it like the rise and fall of the ocean. And our areas can't interact either. Yeah, you can't interact with your opponent's, uh, your opponent's areas. Um, okay, I'm gonna play the speaker and I'm gonna go up. Lizzie, can you put me one, one on all the first three, the same I did before? Yeah. So I'm gonna get a survivor, which is unfortunately gonna give me two toxicity. Oh my gosh, which I'm already at minus three. But I get to draw an artifact from the bag, and this is actually going to raise the guild uh, dial for the guild. So I found refrigeration, everybody. Refrigerator. Uh, looks like I gain one of each resource. Mm -hmm. Throw this off. Pardon me, Bree. <laughs> and then this is going to go over here in the blue. So blue gets raised to two. And then you just grab one of each. And this went up because we made a lap. We made a lap around the survivor track, mm -hmm. yep. Which you'll notice here on the screen is that little, little second okay. portion, whatever. Okay. Uh, and then I get two movement. I'm going to stay where I'm at, but I'm going to finish out here. I'm going to get another resource. I'm going to take another, yeah, I'm going to take a red into my reserve, mm -hmm. and then I get to draw and place Ocean Tide. And... That's not place, that's just draw. Nope, it's draw and place. Off of that one it is. I get a two, so I'm gonna place this two. It's yeah, it's a three. It, that one is different. Uh, the way that you interact with the guild, um, guilds kind of break the rules mm -hmm. of your cards a little okay. bit. I'll believe it. <laughs> uh, nope, don't. Hold on, I'm gonna figure out how long. I'm gonna go like that, and that's it for me. I didn't draw any toxicity, so I'm good. I'm gonna trade, so I can have up to four trades. Take two coins mm -hmm. to start out with, mm -hmm. and then I am going to sell all four of my blue. So it's at four. The four, four is six. Okay, give me this. Okay, and then this is gonna move down, right? Yeah. Yep. One. Move three, down four spaces. Four. So now it is only one. Okay. I'm going to use my trader. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I get two coins. Go up to four transactions. Maybe. Me. <laughs> and then I will. Um, Jim actually brought up a good point. When you had rolled your two depletion markers earlier, mm -hmm. um, it's you only place a depletion if you roll two of them. Oh. So your first is free, but if you roll your second... Oh, that's good. Yeah, so... So I, this shouldn't be... Uh, I thought you had two. Did. You rolled, didn't have two? Okay, yeah, I, I thought I saw one. two. Oh, it was a wasteland I got. Toxicity. I had two toxicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had okay. one that was just Yeah, so toxicity. take the depletion marker off. Yeah. So you only get a depletion for two depletions. Oh, you paid? Okay. Yeah, that's the 12 that I'm paying. Well, you bought another skiff. Yes. 
Yeah, your skip goes on your dock right there. Okay, my turn? Yep. I'm going to... Oof, man, I actually would love to get other skips so I can start better. So maybe I do want to sell now. Okay, I'm going to go play my trader. Uh, I get two coins, and then I get to make four transactions. I know one of the transactions I'm going to do it now is to buy my skiff. So 15 uh, costs 12, so I'll get three back. And I get to purchase my next skiff, which goes here. I get three other transactions. I'm going to sell... Is, is green the highest over there? Yeah. Yep. So five. I'm going to... One green and two red. So it looks like I'm going to get... 13. 13 coins. Okay. Somebody give me 13, please. Yeah. Thank you very much. And that completes my turn. I'm going to do my transfer. So I'll gain two influence, one guild. And I have two... I'm... Right, do you mind if I show this? So uh, I think there's generally one card in each yeah. of the guilds that has this specific uh, ability that lets you discard other cards or characters from its guild to gain more resources. So in this case, Lizzie could have discarded another speaker from her hand mm -hmm. uh, to gain an extra influence. But which I didn't is have pretty, any. Right, My hand has already good. spent them, so I like that. Three, I think it's your turn. Playing my captain. Oh, you Here did get you did get Mike's room. card. I did. He was the top <laughs> one, and I took him. I'm gonna get one coin for each card I pick up. One, two, four, five, seven. seven oh, right seven here. coins. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got gotcha. you. Plenty of money to go around. And I have up to five moves. Yeah, and you can split your movement uh, when you gain movement off of a card. You can split that movement among any of your skips you have. Um, you can have a total of four skips on the board. Um, and so you could split five movement among all four if you want. All right, is it my turn? Yep. I'm going to play my founder. What did you play before, previously? Uh, Captain. Oh, you picked Pick him up. up. Oh, Lizzie's got the translator. I'm going to actually, before that goes away, copy Lizzie's translator. So I get to move, go up two on any Fine. good question. Oh, oh, actually I do know. I'm gonna go one, two and grab this card. So I just got the agent, which allows me to gain one influence in every guild. Oh, what? And then I get, in the last game. Oh, yeah, so and the last one is so good. Uh, no, I get two it. movement points, points, so I'm gonna go uh, one, two. All right, Lizzie. Okay. okay, so I am in the shallow, mm -hmm. and then I get two additional. So you're in you shallow, which play... gives you that. Yeah, and then and then two additional shallows. Okay. So, oh, if, if I... If you had played a Delver, a topside Delver, I would have ignored oh. toxicity and inflation. So that's one of the really cool things about the game is that it okay, plays so off of one, what two, your opponent played last. And three red, please. Previously played, placed cards. Three, you said? And then you got your toxicity. So if I copy her, absolutely, Redger, does it count as the previously played card? <laughs> That's a great Is question. It the, the right... Let's read this. Uh, dive rolling two additional shallows dice. If the previous player has a topside delver, uh, yeah, she's the previous player. You're copying her ability. I have to say that 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 checks out. That checks out. That. Mike is also here. <laughs> so he could probably answer that question, but let's go ahead and roll with that. All right. So I'm that's a great edge case. <laughs> you are rolling where you are plus two shallow. Too so deep. too deep. I moved him over here. I'll give this to you. Too shallow. Yep. Too deep and too shallow, and you ignore toxicity. Seems and depletion. Oh, and depletion. Oh. Uh, and the funny thing is, well, I guess I, I rolled a couple of oh, sonars. sonars, but they yeah. that's what I ignore, right? Yeah, it says ignore, well, it says toxicity, so I, I wonder, I think that. it's on the dice. Oh, if it's, yeah, ignore okay. it on that the would dice. be sonar. Yeah. Okay, so then I still take two right. sonar. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you take that. So we have to the top. But then I got two, three, four, five barrels. Okay, and, I'm and green which colors do you want? Oh, green? So five green. green. All right. Uh, or five. 
There you go. Then those are going to go on your boats. Okay, cool. Someone on the stream knows. What is the candy oh. <laughs> that these oh, yeah. are shaped exactly like? Because oh, I cannot fair. remember. Yeah, we were trying to say that it, it like looked like a candy, right? Uh, but we couldn't imagine. Remember here, we'll just throw one of these out there so you can see how tiny this is. What kind of candy is this? I don't know. What All right, I'm gonna play my. <laughs> I'm gonna. My child. I'm gonna play my Delver. So I roll two. Now deep. you play your Delver. Yeah. You can I... do it, but when I was doing mine. Uh uh <laughs> No. Two two deep and two shallows. Uh wow. Two sonar gives me two. You know what? Could someone please flip so that we stop taking toxicity <laughs> off of that? Uh, I also gained two survivors though. Check that out. One victory point, please. And I'm gonna get the top card. I'd like the top uh, founder, please. Look, I finally got a point, yeah. Uh, and then I get four barrels and I'm on red and yellow. So I'll go ahead and take those and pass my turn. Okay. I have to play my casting because it's the last card left. So I'm going to get nine. So I'm gonna put one back and take 10. And then I get to rally and pick it up and I can move up to five. So I'm gonna go one, two, Drop these. Back out to see. Three, yep. And then Solid play. Dredger have movement. Uh, your dredger card, did it have movement on the bottom? I keep Can forgetting to do. No. No, no. Good. no. Okay. No. no. I'm actually, trying to be better about that. The Delvers, I don't think, have any movement because, because they're, they're stuck in a down. spot. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones that are dying. That makes sense. That checks out. Oh, man. Tough to squeeze a pound. This is the top. Back. Like, Three influence with one guild. You may retire this crew card to gain a skill with any. Yep. So you so can. These are yeah, you can pull it, remove it from the game to place a seal on the board. Seems like it come in handy later in the game, towards the end. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta plan it. Speaker. You can move two on one. Yeah. You're on that first one. I'm here. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. You on this one? Yeah. Okay, so you get any resource of your choice and the top card of the Delvers. What resources? Um. It's usually like well and it's usually like what's highest what can i yeah. sell the most for and i'm not gonna forget that i have two movement yes on there. please get your movement oh Important. this guy is coming all right uh i am going to play my sailor and i get to draw three play three but if i discard a founder card uh, I can draw an additional tile. So I will discard one founder to draw four in place three. And I have two movement. That's uh, card last game too. You did have that one, yeah. <laughs> I'm having your your you deck are. from last last game. <laughs> so here's the first. One toxicity. No toxicity. No toxicity. No toxicity. What, what a pull. But unfortunately, I only gained one of these... Uh, Artifact purples. So that's not great. Oh no, I did have an orange. Okay. Not as bad as I replace one, two. And then the shallows has to go. <gasps> uh oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can go here or here, but I can't place here because I placed. I really messed myself up there. So I guess I'm just going to have to come right over here. Oh, but that's going to mess that one up. I'm going to have to place it right here on the end. You see what I mean? I don't want to cover that up. Yeah. Oh, let me get my talk. Uh, and then I have two movements, so let's move in and drop off this red. One, two. My translator. So two, and then if I discard a guild oh, you know card, what? Actually, I get an extra I actually one. Actually, four movement. I had forgot because it was this that I played, not the. Okay, so I'm gonna move one to this, which is victory point. Stop getting victory points yeah. already. And then I'm going to discard this one to move up one more. You're acting like that's how you win. 
And then I have movement, but I'm just trying to do something. Okay. I'm good. Clever. Because now that's your speaker that's on. Yeah. Well, I can't copy. Yeah, the I realized. Displayed. I yeah. realized, yeah, this is discard X. So I'm assuming that goes on top of the card so you just played, discarded. maybe? Yep. Because you play the one first, and then you That's play the one That's a good question for Mike, it. though, because it's not out, actually outlined in the rule book. So if you need to discard a card, does it go on top of the card you just played? Or does the card you just played go off to the side, you discard, and then place that at the end? So if Mike is still watching, because to me, I feel like you'd play the card out, mm -hmm. discard, and then this would go on top. If you're playing it, you're taking the action, then it says discard. So sure. I, yeah. Think, yeah. I think the way I did it was proper. <laughs> I feel like either way. So, why not both? Yes. Okay, so I'm playing my navigator. Four percentiles and place three of them. Can I get two moves? Yeah, you can. Di yeah, you could discard the scholar, but that's i guess situationally good yeah the scholar is just way too good to not copy in yeah. my opinion oh, yeah. that copy effect Toast. is well timed it's real good but i can see in a bind if you really like for you especially because you have discard to go up influence oh. that would actually be really good for you i won did you get any oh, i got one. one i one. thought i had none i was gonna say i did i thought so <laughs> but i did find all right well and there's six stars out, so we're two percent of the way done, guys. Two percent. Don't worry, of the win. it'll ramp up. Okay, so I'm finishing a red artifact. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, you got an artifact. Yeah. Find out what I got. Raise it. Raise the roof. The the UN flag. Okay. I'll raise the UN flag. Okay, mm -hmm. that's important. So that what do you me, get for uh, it? That gets me six coins and three victory points. Dang. Here for I a come. Flag? Three percent, guys. For a flag. Just going faster and faster. Oh, and so many points, I can't keep and up, Bree. two movement. Can these share? Space? They can. Yep, skips can share space. Because you've actually, yeah, yeah, you can share. I'm going to play my agent. I'm going to go up one in every guild. So if oh, you could just... shoot, I only placed one. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Let's let Bree finish her turn. I, it was... She was excited. Attention. I was. You've done such a... You've done such a good job at placing the tiles, and I'm <laughs> over here just like, ah! I don't know what to do. Yeah. All right, now I'm done. Oh, that's actually a great question. Jim asked if playing the Delver, if the Scholar's on top, because it ex if it can be discarded as all guilds, does that mean it can trigger? Is it considered a Delver? You know what I mean? But the scuff, when when I copied her. No, when Lizzie oh. had played earlier, you know, if the previous player plays something, you get in the scot. My scholar was on top, and the scholar is all guilds. Would oh. that count as having a, mm -hmm. a? That's a good a, question. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Would that count as having a delver on top of your discard pile? Um, again, that is a great question. I believe Mike probably answered. I'm gonna move up one on each guild, please. Get a seal. Okay, seal. I know everybody at home is probably thinking. Do you want to move the two or the one? Oh, great question. Uh, I want to go, I want to bypass. Okay, so want to bypass this too? Hold on, I gotta look at which one it is. No, I want that one. Card. That card. And then gold, yeah, and get, I get one gold. gold. Okay. Oh, I get five movements, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my... So let's go one, two... I don't have a green yet. Oh yeah, I do, it's over here. Three, four, five. Not the green. No, you have so here. much green over there, Brie. <laughs> Let me just come over there. Can we just create a little, like, <laughs> Panama expansion. Canal? Yeah, a little expansion. <laughs> Go ahead, Lily. Why am I ahead of you? You've not oh. moved on Trader. Okay. Then I'm, I'm still going to do this. Okay. Founder, I am going to drop the ocean piles and. You're going to do it. Piles? I need to oh, Okay. Oh, and I have one touch. Oh, this is only two. I one more. There. There we go. Oh, and you do another shallow. That one's not terrible. Uh -uh. Shallow is easier to build uh, when you're sky side. Okay. 
If we need to move that that track, we can. Uh, I think I'll be. Okay. And I get two. Yeah, Mike says that you would. The scholar exists as all types, so anything that says if a previous player played something, that would trigger. So your double nice. earlier would have. So that's a great, great thing to to note. And I think it's Bree's turn. Able to get the card I want. No, oh. they're gonna stay there. I'm gonna play the trader. <laughs> I'm going to get two coins, up to four transactions. Uh, you've got green, is green at, four. at four, yeah. You could sell four for six. Or I could three and buy. Yes, that is also true. Which? Actually, three green would pay for your skin. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I was getting at. I'll do that. All right, so yeah. we'll take yeah, this, and then, that goes so down one, three, and then you two. get your skiff. Solid. Okay. Do you have any movement? Nope. Okay. Zero movement. I'm play I the, wanted it. I'm going to play the midshipman. Uh, you don't have a founder up, which is unfortunate, but I draw four and place two. Um, if you had a founder, uh, I'd get to draw and place an additional. Nothing. 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 What? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm in real big trouble because I can't complete this without a shallow. I can't use a deep to complete that. So I'll have to place this here as my first, and this here is my second to complete uh, another artifact. So let's draw this artifact, see what we uncovered, see what we found here. We have, oh, we have a submarine. Gain a skiff, but I also gain a toxicity. I like how it's thematic, how I get a, I get a skiff and get Actually, sick. Yeah, as this goes down, you get more and more oh, negative that's points. The worst. Okay, you done? Hold on. Say toxicity. <laughs> that's been stuck in my head all day. I get day. two movement, so I'll use my movement to go here. Okay. I'm going to play my diplomat, so move up three on one track. This is one I could discard. I'm obviously. Uh, one, two, I'm going to get to draw a tile. You go up two or three on a track? I'm going up three, but I'm doing the actions as I get there. Gotcha. So this is red and three. I can place it Yep, you have here. to place it there. Well, it has to be placed, yeah. And then I can move up one more, and I'm going to up. The Pioneer. Draw up to eight ocean tiles and place Oh. See, that one's really... <laughs> Up to though, draw so up I can to just eight. Draw so three and be like, I'm you could draw three, to place three. Oh man, that's so good. So that's super pressure lock. So all right, breathe. Okay, guys. All right, it's a good one. It's a real good one. What is the effect of your diplomat? So uh, you can gain you three influence gain with a guild, and then you can discard or no, you can retire it to get a seal. Oh, that's I the one. Don't yeah. think retire. she could take that action. You could not retire it. No, uh, you can't. and it has two movement on it. Yeah. Okay. Changed everything. Yep, I was correct. Mike says the card you play is sent to your discard at the end of your turn. So anything you discard to that effect, it does not get placed underneath. So just keep keep in mind. Yep, that's what I thought. I had different. Okay. Which is what always happens. Derek and I take things very differently. Well, that's what you're talking about. I'm talking about. I'm gonna play. So uh, I'm three. the captain. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> no, I'm five. the captain now. Five coins, please. Five coins. I put a five coin. This is four. I'm gonna trade that out for twenty just in case. I was getting close. I only have four. But I'm gonna buy something. So there's a lot of this. Oh, are you? I am. Here, you can even. No, this is a five. That was so cute. Such a good video. <laughs> Jim says 52 minutes into the game, 2% complete. No, we're at 3%. We're at 3%. Three times three. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We got this. My turn is coming. Uh, we got this. We're just yeah, setting ourselves so up. 
This is a long game, though. I'm you not have no lie. idea what I'm about. Wow. Wow. I did have coke tonight, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's Saturday it's night. Caffeinated. Deb has not been sleeping well. And we have a friend here. Is it my turn, Brie? It is. I, I got finished. a really awesome turn. I'm going to play my captain. How many cards? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins, please. How complicated. Here, no. Give me a That's ten fine. and here's no, a one. Okay. Are you going to do it? Oh. I am going to do it. What are we doing? There you go. Thank doing? you. Okay. I'm done. I have five movement, but I'm going to choose not to use it. Oh, just I'm sorry. giving those to me? They were sitting here. They were paid earlier. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my pioneer, guys. Ooh. So I can draw up to eight. So I'm going to go one at a time. I feel I'm trying like... to get what I want. Okay, that's fair. Why? So it's so draw up to eight. eight. So that's one. No toxicity. <gasps> Two. <laughs> but that's one. a three. That's really Two. great. Yeah. Another. Okay, I'm just looking for one very specific thing. Come on. <laughs> four. You're looking for something <laughs> specific? Five. Get it? I got it. What, what, what gave that get? away? Um, I can't tell you. Tell <laughs> you, but I had to tell you. Did you okay. gain all your toxicity, by the way? I did. I went up three. Okay. And it pushed me down to the negative. So I'm going to okay. put this two here. Mm -hmm. That's one. I can place up to three. Pretty gross. Okay, and then I will place. Mike is an MVP. Mike, you are awesome. This here. Mike's here. Oh, Mike yeah. is one of the co-designers, like we mentioned, answering questions that some uh, viewers and... have, answering questions that you might have. You know, Thank just you, all Mike. around a great. great this one. Person. Okay, guys, I have <gasps> completed. And you get to play three, yeah? I did play three. Yeah, I played yeah, these yeah. Three. I completed Solid. that thing on one. That's really good. Guys. I don't know. What are you going to draw? What'd you get? Satellite. So I get two victory points, guys. And you get two... Two resources. Which ones would you like? Two yellow. I knew that's what you were going to get. Look at that. Yoba. Went and grabbed them already. And, and that goes to here. Okay. That goes to the red guild. Okay. And then I have up to four movement, but I am totally... I am not. I will play... It's Whatever. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. In case we need to see. Well, no, I'm, it's fine here now that I've placed it out. I mean, we can see those right there, but it's fine. That's more comfortable for me. You do. <laughs> Where is he? Man, the timing on the tracks is so fun, but so important. It's like, ah! <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna right. have a really good next turn. I've said it. Like, like, I'm gonna use my Seafarer, which has one movement, and I can use that now. Yeah, you can use your movement on your turn. Okay. At any point. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do my one movement to do that. And then sure. I'm going to dive, rolling three that. additional shallows dice. And I get to ignore one. Moving us. Shallows. Yeah. It actually doesn't say exactly when you can move your skip, so... It says fully resolve sale and income effects. Oh, it says you resolve sale effects before you do the card's text ability. Sale first. Oh. Sale first and then do ability. Okay. Which makes sense because you're trying to set yourself up. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. One depletion. One radiation, mm -hmm. which I ignore. Yep. But then you gain a sonar, which one is sonar. one. I can take that. Because uh, I also rolled two... Oh no! That's exactly what I was gonna try to do, Bree. I was like, I'm set up to do it, and then I didn't account for that. But this one gives me toxicity. It does, and yeah. that presumably I can't ignore. You cannot. All right, so that's gonna put me up. I mean, at a certain point, you just empty out. You're just. No, I think if you go to 15, it resets, and you get those negative 15 immediately. And then you oh my go back, back to nine. Yeah, oh. I, I believe that's how down. it's written. Written uh, with toxicity. You would go back to nine victory points. That's I gotta so see where strange. you reset. That hold on, hold on, hold on. You trying to? At the end of the game, you'll. Maybe not. Maybe you just you can cap it at net minus fifteen. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't actually say in the rulebook, so. Like you're sick with cancer. Die. <laughs> Like I'm gonna take my four in. Green. What color you want? Green. 
and I got the Colossus. Oh, worth sweet. Five victory points. Dang. Where's the good one? Uh, oh, here. Yes. Here's in red. All right, my turn. I'm going to play. I'm still keeping with the same yeah, theme. These go. Uh, yeah. But unfortunately, Bree. No, actually, that actually helps. I'm going to go up one in each guild, please. Oh, and the. Oh, I'm the, sorry. Sorry, the dial moves up. It does, yeah, because you placed off oh, of that. Actually, it goes one. Yes, so it I does. Yeah, you rolled two. Yeah, one so you get one victory point. Now yeah. I'm done. Now I'm done. For real. Yeah. We one do. on everything. Oh, no. It's one here. Yep, one there. You get to place one. Okay, so here's my seal. Get to I get to draw in that, place, okay. and then he gets one point. Cool, thank you. Uh, I drew a toxicity, so yes, I'm. Okay, guys. Okay. The traitor. You're going to move your cards. I'm coming in. Okay, so I get two coins, and then I can sell by whatever up to four times. So I am going to sell three. Let me just start with, I'm going to build a, uh, a Derek. You're going to build me? Yeah. This is a good place? Cool. <laughs> Look at the domino effect. Yeah, I did. That was really that was beautiful. Really cool. Okay. <laughs> There's one here. So this is 20. So I just paid my 20. Okay. And I'm going to do this one. For each tile featuring your most common resource type, which is red. One, two, three, four, five, seven points. Max of five. That's 35, 35 points. points, guys. All right. Uh, so 35 points for Lizzie. See, I told you this was going to so be good. So I'll show, show this card off. Uh, Lizzie just completed this objective. All right, so there's that. Well done. For 35 yeah, so points, and that's removed from the game. Uh, and so these are actually tiered with the highest uh, objective giving you the most points, and then second most, and then the bottom one stays there, and players can do that one as many times as they want. So that do you have to be, seven points. does the skiff have to be, or do I just have to own it? I'm sorry, what? Does the skiff have to be in a place? No, you just okay. have to own the outpost. Okay, so I'm gonna spend, or I'm gonna sell two for six. And that was your second transaction? That was three. And oh, okay. I sold two. So mm -hmm. I have one more. So five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, twenty-two. Two, three, four, five. Exactly. I have exactly twenty-two. She has exactly twenty-two. Are you kidding so me? So I am gonna place a second one here. Are you kidding and me? I am going to do for each shelf bearing tile, so that's at level two. So I have one, two, three, four, at six points. Six times four is twenty-four. So I will give you one if you want to give me twenty-five. That's for each uh, shelf bearing tile, which is the medium, medium okay. color. So I did 20, 40, 30. It's all blue. It's just like a light blue, medium blue, dark, dark blue. Went 60, 1, 2, Whoa. 3, 4, 5, 6, guys. So out wow. of 300. Yeah. But hey, that was we're a over good. over 10%. That was a good No, we're like 20%. Bump. That was a good bump. Yes, we are. We're over 20%, guys. See? You're awesome. I can't believe that worked out like perfect. It did very well. Oh. Three, I think it's your turn. Yeah, I have an agent which gives you a uh, influence on everything. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to think what I'm, I'm going to copy the here. agent. Okay. Get one gold from here. Huh? And then you go up one here, which gives you uh, a file. I can just pull one for you. And then your orange. The radiation. <laughs> and then you get one of your choice. Um. Okay. And then uh, you get to move the survivor track, which gives you one guild card of your choice. Oh, can you get it? Yeah. So it looks like there's only oh, one wow. left in the... Uh, the, the makers or the speakers so when those are no, oh no there's, there's two left two. okay when one of the guilds is depleted you know and there's no there's more small. cards left no. you'll actually just gain victory points anytime you would need to draw a guild member Council. okay what does that one do gain three influence with one guild Gain an additional influence with that guild for each speaker in the game. Oh, I love cards like that. I love when you play off your discard pile. All right. And the speakers are the cards with Yellow. that guild. Yeah, symbol. it's with, with the hand shaking. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play the my starter speaker. I'm going to gain one in this one to gain this card. So those are gone. I am the worst. 
Uh, and then I'm going to gain one here, which allows me to place a skill. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to drop, can I gain one over there, Bree? And I get to, get that yeah, card. I get to get that top trader card. Yeah, that's what. Again, a card I had in a lot. Is it really? Yeah, uh, Quartermaster. Six. Oh, it lets you offload one of your skips and then make six transactions. So now there's, you know, a lot. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, Lizzie. Oh, I have two movement, but I'm fine. I'm not. Okay. I am going to do emissary. So I'm going to go two here. Place a skill. Go two here. So I get a coin and a card. And then you get to gain a survivor for two I points. Do. My orange over there should be. No, it should be one back. Nope, the, the one you skipped. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Two points for Lizzie. Is that a good one? And move the first marker two spaces, tracker marker, move and then resource tracker, yeah. six transactions. Yeah. Wow. You can manipulate the. So you can make it. something cheaper and more it. expensive. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. I'm also going to play my speaker. So, no longer get anything. You well, get two you points. Get to the card. Correct. Yeah, okay. yeah there's no more cards. You, you get, get two, two points. points. Okay. Which, two points doesn't sound like a lot, but two points is two points. Two points. Two points. So on that track, I'm going to move with the arrow. Yeah. Oh, you're going to move to here? Yeah, just to there. This deal and yep. one here. Uh, my turn? Oh, mm -hmm. And I have two movement. Remembered my movement. <laughs> you removed. You remembered your movement that turn. Love it. All right, I'm gonna play my Delver. I get to roll uh, one and two of these deep, plus two shallows. Okay. So I have. Wow. Oh my gosh. Five sonar. And but I gained five barrels. Man, if sonar was higher, that would have been amazing. Instead, it's five terrible. barrels. We're gonna go. Man, everything's bottomed out right now. You guys are the worst. We're gonna go with four yellows, one blue. Go ahead, Lizzie. You've played a, a Delver, Redger. So I am gonna get yellow deck. Oh, I can't take a blue because I'm not on blue. I'll take a green instead. So I can ignore Texas. Seems pretty good. Alright, so I get red, please. Okay, it says sonar. What? It says ignore toxicity depletion this round. It doesn't say. So I think I wouldn't take that. Fair. If it says this round, this round, because it doesn't it. say like off the dice or something. Right. This round, so anything oh. I would get, I would so, assume. So Bree, you can go back too if you want. It's up to you. I don't remember where, where it was, either. so I'm not. Oh, it might have right. just been one too. Yeah, yeah. but that's good to. Okay, that one. that's okay. it. Yep, You're good. I can't move right. Yeah, there's a uh, Jim and Simon's video is expressing a little bit of. I think you might have 68 minutes and complete. It is like 20 some percent complete at this point. Yeah. Because I be a bit scored over sure. 50. I'm over 60. Dropped a little bit. Let's see what I want to score here. Play my console. Mm -hmm. Gain three influence with one guild. Gain an additional influence with that guild for each discard pile. One. Yeah, two. Scholar yeah, the counts. scholar counts. Oh. The, count, the scholar counts. So I'm getting types. five with one. Yeah. You said the scholar counts uh, for copying exists as all types, so okay. I don't see why it wouldn't count there either. Okay.
It's a scholar. It's right? it's everything. You gain five with one guild? Yeah. Traders, yeah. Mm hmm Victory yeah, point yeah. and two coins. Four gives you steel and then another coin. Okay, there you go. All right. Uh, oof, for each tier, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna copy your ability <laughs> because I have two in nice. my in my uh, discard. Does the one you just played? No, it didn't count. It's not my discard pile yet. So this will be what does it exactly say? Three plus three with one guild. With one plus an additional influence with that guild for sure. each speaker in your discard pile. Oh, sure. and I have three movement. Go ahead and do your movement. Never remember. Yeah, the movement is is the hard one. You always do it before your spot yeah, supposed I, to play too. Uh, it's okay. I'll help you. So I get five in a in a guild. What do I want? That's a good question. Um, we're gonna go five in. Give me a seal on one of these. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna go one, two, draw in place. A shallows. Two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna place my seal. I'm gonna gain uh, the top. Can you give me that top uh, delver, Sorry. please? Or, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Free, is that your seal? Should that be down there? Oh. And I drew another one, and it has no toxicity yet again. And it's a purple this time, though. And I can't okay. place it there because it has a shallows. No, no, no. Instead, place it. Place it right there. You also have a five. Okay. Uh, Lizzie, there. it is oh. your turn. Well, guess who's also gonna. Scholar that up. <laughs> it's such a good card. So it's it is. two and then one for three. each. For it's each. Three. It's three plus however many but speakers. Not one, two. two. Oh my three. gosh. Oh my god. Four. Four. She got seven. So seven. So seven on one track. Okay, so I'm gonna wow. go. That's a terrible one for her to get. One. <laughs> two. Oh, that's so good. Three, four. So good. Five. Six. Seven. Wow. Oh, what a well turn. What <laughs> a turn. Well done. That's me. Okay. Cool. Make it seven track. Outside this card game. Five. Okay, mm -hmm. so this does that have any sailing? Your oh, card? Uh three. Oh. Three sailing. Three. Right. And trying to maximize mm -hmm. the cards. Like, oof, trying to find these uh, sequences, lines of play uh, on what I want, how I want to accomplish. Play my consigner. Rally my crew and make up to one transaction for some trader crew card. That's like really good. Trader and presumably the scholar. The scholar counts would be a trader, in this yeah. case. So yeah. three. You can get three transactions, so it's a rally plus three transactions. Mm -hmm. And one movement. And one movement, that's real strong. A movement. Finally remembered to do it. Now I'm not gonna <laughs> use it. Top side, does that mean? No, top side's top of your discard. Oh, okay. My transaction. <laughs> Simon says he hears the wham coming for me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Simon. <laughs> I love the way this game looks on the table. Mm -hmm. cool. What are the self or yeah so you've got you've got medium and then you have depletion mm -hmm. tiles oh, depletion. and okay, then you have I yeah okay i can max out mediums. at seven i am what you know about me
You're doing transactions? I am. Three okay. of them. So I'm going to buy... Well, okay, which one are you activating? There, are you the medium. The medium ones? Yep. So you can go up to 35 points. So seven is what it max out at. I think I have five. I think you have five of them. Two. Or that's what, 25 points? Yep. Um, <laughs> now you see me? Now you know. My other 12. Other. I had one. See, what's funny is Jim and Simon are making jokes, but what are you buying? A green cookie. Or selling a green. Oh, okay. Uh, it's funny, like, this is the only game that I know of in existence where you can flip the table and it, like, it's thematic. It makes sense, because I'm, I'm flipping yeah. <laughs> over to the other side. <laughs> but, um, shh. All right, my turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to use the Quartermaster. The Quartermaster allows me to offload one of my skiffs and gain six transactions. So don't mind if I do. Uh, first transaction will be to sell. Okay, so I can do. What do I need first? Uh, I'm going to spend 5, 10, 15, 20 for this to place uh, here. And I'm going to score off of the yellow. This one. That's so, not... oh. yeah. So I have seven. It says, for each tile featuring your most common resource, which is yellow, I have seven for 35 points. Yeah, so, so I need 35 that. points, please. I max that one out. Yeah, because there is a max for these where it'll say listed. You can max it out. 35 points would be the max. Okay, so that was my first action. I get five more. Uh, I'm then going to sell one, two, three, four yellows for 12. Is that right? Yep, four times three is 12. Um, you can keep the 12 because I'm going to purchase my last skiff. Put that right there, and that is the end of my turn. Okay. I'm going to place my captain. So that is 10 because I have 10 cards. Okay. And I pick them up. And you have and movement if you want to use it. I will. Should put his face. <laughs> Come to me. Oh. <laughs> Found you. So many good cards. What do we got over there, Brie? That's a Make up to seven transactions. They retire this card to draw. Dang. The adventurer. Draw five ocean tiles. Place three. Other founder. And... Movement. Wow. Head. I think your head's good. Space. Yep, and then you can pitch other uh, delvers to draw more, mm -hmm. uh, to roll more. <laughs> Mike said, I just checked the screen again and I didn't wanted to say that anyone that has not flipped the sky side is a coward. <laughs> I was thinking of honestly, about it literally honestly, right as my turn came up. Yeah. It's, you know, it's coming. Hey, don't, don't just know what to do. You don't know me. It's still Bree's What do you mean I don't it know you? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know, I actually. Maybe I will. I don't like that you were able to copy the other side of this console does the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So. Are you flipping? I am flipping. <gasps> oh, it has less movement. Uh, not less movement on the sky side. It's always coins. You gain coins oh. instead of movement because you get rid of your skiff. Wow, you don't need them anymore. Subtle it's a very subtle difference. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. instead of a compass, it's a coin. I'm flipping. Oh, <gasps> Bree! I was literally. <laughs> I'm blaming Mike on Look, this. If Mike I was didn't thinking say about this, it, <laughs> we're gonna wake the baby. I was thinking Finally about it. Down, guys. Oh my gosh! Well done, Bree. So you, here's what's gonna happen when we do the sky side. Uh, you're going to choose. Uh, you're gonna move each of your skiffs to the dock. Uh, so all of these skiffs are gonna come over to the dock. Oh. Yeah. They're all gonna come over here. Uh, and then you're going to gain um, four times 16. 16 per, yeah. So what is that? Uh, 64? 64. 64 coins? 
Oh, I thought it was Victory Point. No, 64 <laughs> coins, because it's uh, sell your skiffs at one for 16, and then you can pick up all, so here's what happens, you're gonna lose all of your outpost. So this is what happens when you do uh, a flip. Uh, this is so much fun. This is so <laughs> freaking cool. You sell your skiffs, because you don't need to go in the water anymore, because you're going to the sky, you're gonna be a scientist. Every pile that has an outpost, you lose. Uh, you're going to return each your outpost and each outpost bearing tile. Um, so actually not this one, this one, only the one you've placed an outpost on. You'll keep the other ones. This is oh. an outpost bearing tile because it's a tile that had the outpost. So that tile plus the outpost goes away. Got it. Uh, so those are going to get removed from the game. And so I do keep. Yeah, you keep, and then you're going to turn all those over and you're going to flip everything. Oh my gosh, it's a whole nother Table game. Flip. Mm -hmm. Table flip the game. <laughs> Uh, and then you flip your starting tile over as well, and you're gonna flip, you flipped your other board to the sky side already. You're going to have the rest of your outposts that you didn't spend, you'll have those two, because you can now complete the sky side objectives. Uh, these now go into your hand, it call, it, it's your uh, sky side reserve. So now, if I can have one of those real quick. No. Now Bree is going to build these tiles utilizing the top resources. So now Brie, instead of instead of bringing somebody that gives, she's taking. She's, <laughs> she's buying resources from us. Uh, so we're going to hopefully supply those for you. So now we're gonna be kind of in this, uh, this tight tense dance. Um, you did all that. Now you can build one of your ocean tiles. And uh, I don't think I, do you have a sonar one? I just wanted to show a sonar one off. You should, yeah. So now, instead of trying to find artifacts, Bree can uh, form three of these sonars, which is going to raise the sonar track, and she's going to score help points. On the same help side. me help you. <laughs> help me. Um, so and I... you played your captain to do that, and that's it. Well, she has to buy. She has to buy one. Yeah, she has. To... Well, I mean, your turn, though? I could start my turn, but Should honestly, I'm real like she... I'm not sure at all do what it. I'm gonna do. Do it. <laughs> Buildings have to be connected, or they just have. To, I don't remember. It's gonna be better if they are connected. Better if they're connected, but you can not you can necessary. start off wherever you want. Yeah. I mean, you build, I mean when it scores. Like if I were to place this and then build, it's a this contiguous way, line, it right? Okay. Right. It's a contiguous line. Jeremy has a Wow. It's okay. Jeremy Jeremy wouldn't fit on the camera even sitting, so <laughs> great. Now that is that is mean. JK JK. Uh okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play my wayfarer. Um I'm gonna draw three ocean tiles. I'm gonna place three of them. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of toxicity. Four. Four. What are you even doing with your life? I maxed up fifteen, so I don't even oh, care. That's it. Wow. All right, I but I get to place. To I get to place three of these. So, um, unfortunately, I drew deeps, but no shallows. I really need not a shallow, but a medium. Place that here. Finish it off here, gonna draw an artifact. What did we find? We found a windmill for five victory points, please, Lizzie. I also get to place one of these, so I'll place that here. Thank you very much. Goes back in the bag. I have three points of movement, so I will go one, two, three. Uh, and then I'm gonna retire this crew member because if I do, I can rescue three survivors. So thanks, Wayfarer, for your help. We're gonna get rid of you, and I'm gonna immediately gain three survivors. The first, so gain two throw toxicity. Wayfarer overboard to get pretty much, pretty much. Get out you of here. don't really just need to do here. toxicity. Maxed I've maxed it. It yeah. just stays there. Uh, I get two victory points, please. I found a telegraph. I get two resources of my choice. Who left this lying around? Who knows. Uh, that's gonna go here. So Bree, we are really helping you out with so your one, uh, guy side. Two. Another victory point, three. and then a card. I'm actually gonna take the top uh, trader. No, 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 trader. Yeah. Oh, 
that's the traders. Sorry. Okay, thank you very much. All right, that's it. Do the pioneers. Get the bag with the tiles. Go. Do it to it. Ah, <sighs> I don't think Lizzie's gonna flip, but I'm really. Why do you only have one of your skip out there? Like, I'm really surprised. You're kind of in a position to flip and then force me to be the sink sider because with four skips on the board, that would put me in a pretty good position to provide resources while Lizzie and three kind of like, I don't know. I could also cash, I could cash them out though for a bunch of, a bunch. What is that going to give me? 12? Come on. So that'd be 12, 24. That'd be 48 coins. This is not what I want. Pretty good. How much toxicity are you gonna get? I'm looking. Okay. I understand that. Wow. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, <laughs> four, five. So Mike says, yes, someone has demonstrated they are not a coward. Bless you forever. Enjoy <laughs> purchasing resources for a ridiculously low price while it lasts. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Your next purchase is yeah. gonna be like a garage sale. Yeah. Okay, so this is a one. Get those two. Oh, it's funny. Get out, dude. I did. You're gonna have to uh to go somewhere else. I've encroached upon your lands. Oh man. I can't do that, but... Damn. Okay, and then I... But I'm at stake. Three? It's the only one. Oh, it's the only one you don't need. <laughs> That's so... how the research so the research dice yeah great great question so on the research dice you're going to see um a number of different symbols you'll see coins that you'll gain you'll also notice there's a symbol for each of the guilds so there's red you've got the traders the founders the delvers when you roll three of a symbol that match you get to then activate over here so that would mean you get to draw or yeah you get to draw three uh and place three tiles um over here if you did the the influence you'd get to gain one influence and then over here you get two points for blue and on green you gain nine dollars uh, also what you can do is make a technological breakthrough by finding uh these three cogs if you make a set of cogs you get to move one of the guild dials up. by the way when i drew and gained this earlier red should have gone up to three because i gained one off the artifacts no i'm sorry it was blue when i went around yeah, I passed off the artifact. Yeah, I want to make sure I, I that. Yeah, so that's how the guild dice work. And this is a wild symbol. Um, wild reason. Go ahead and get that with my chemist, mm -hmm. which is the back of her. Nice. So I get no coins from that, but I get to roll five research dice plus an extra breakthrough. Yeah, and the breakthrough is the cog. That's what they mean with the breakthrough. Yep. And no breakthrough. Okay, and what did it mean for breakthrough? What was it? I get an extra breakthrough. I oh. Think, but it doesn't do me any good if I don't roll any. Yeah, so the way the research dice are going to work is that you're going to gain uh, the indicated currency. Um, so each icon on the dice can only be used once. You roll three or more of the light colored, you've discovered a uh, permanent knowledge to that guild, receive a bounty, immediately gain the bonuses printed on all the artifact tiles. What was the knowledge? Oh, I don't know, whatever. You, do, do, you discovered knowledge for the traders. It's just like thematically. So, oh, you, you did green, right? Right. So you get nine So coins. it's discarding these dice? Yeah, it's using the dice. Yeah. It could be spent to gain currency, uh, trigger events, or as their printed victory points. So in this case, you would use the symbols to trigger the right. for nine. 
Okay. One. And then can I use these? Uh, for the their other mom? two should be able. This is the. Ah, uh, that's coins. That's gaining. Okay. Then I'm getting nine. Another mm -hmm. eight. And I'm getting another eight. And it's my turn. All right. Um, I am. Do it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't able to to place any depletion, which I really wanted to do. Um, you know what? Let's do it, Bree. I'm flipping. Let's do How this. Uh, six. Welcome to the sky. Welcome to the sky. All right. So I sell all of these. That uh, four. That's gonna be forty-eight, please. All of these are now mine. I lose this. These all go into my hands. You're welcome, Lizzie. Now you have that available, so you can build out your artifacts. <laughs> these become my hands. I now flip this over, and I have a crap ton of these tiles to play. I can build two of them right now. So I'm going to build uh, four yellow. Four yellow. Placing this out there. And then do I have a one yellow? I don't. I'll place a two. I'll do a four red. I four reds. Two, three, four. Red over here. This is very good for Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, it's probably really good for you. All right, that is uh, that's it for me. Those okay. are my two tiles. I flipped. Well, I guess I need to literally flip all this. So, max out my <laughs> my poor toxicity. Oh, but that means I might not. Uh, it, yeah, you actually might, if you hold off and don't dive, you may not max out your toxicity. I am in a founder, though, so I do need ocean tiles. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I guess that's a question. Uh, whenever you build, you get the victory points. Did you get your victory points earlier for building? Oh. So, right. it'd be, yellow is, get two points, red is at two plus one for three, so I would get five total points. I'm facing that. Yes. Whenever you build, anytime you would build Wait, a... how many points? Oh, it's off the... So whenever you oh, place... Oh, it's off of these. Yeah, oh, you go it. off okay. of these guild dials. So yellow right now is at one plus my one building. Um, and then the red is one red. So that would be three because it's on two. Right here on the two. So that's three points and then two points for five points. Yeah. When a founder or effect allows you to build an ocean tile, choose a number of tiles from your reserve, pay the resources indicated, place the built tiles adjacent in such a fashion they do not touch any opponents, uh, score the points immediately, scoring newly placed tiles. When you build as a sky sider, you score the AB, so the value which is determined by the guild times the number of contiguous uh, district colors. That I placed these two. Okay. So the one per building on the watercraft, that that color of building anywhere, not necessarily connected. Number, where, where are you looking at? Uh, under A. So the, the value of the buildings. district's matching guild dial plus one building per building of that. Right. right, so the watercraft, remember, it has to touch. Okay, that's So like right. this is all one watercraft because it's it's all touching at the moment. But if I built... Like a green over here. This it would not. Building would not. No, it wouldn't because it's not part of that watercraft. The watercrafts you can think of like little floating cities. They don't interact with you. But you could create one really big continuous watercraft. I believe it is here. Yeah, and there's this really handy reference chart uh, that just tell you how to score uh, when you place your uh, tiles. It, it, we talked about this earlier, Bree, where it almost feels a little cool. Yeah. Yeah, with the tile placement. 
What was the term? Excessively Carcassonne? Yeah. <laughs> My new band name. That's your new, your new band name is Excessively Carcassonne. Oh, I love it. I'm going to play my trader. I have so much money. I get I six transactions. So I get three coins. This is so thinky right now because now I have to completely think as a Sky Sider. All of my card abilities are kind of changed. There's a, they're a little sick, but not much. They're mostly. Hmm. That seems. Wow. That's real good. <laughs> While the getting's good. All right. Bye. Three. Hey, Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy Harp's here. Great to see you. 12. Pretty bad. So you did what? You bought, bought six seven, greens. Six so green. green is going to move up. It's going to so. go up six. I noticed you didn't... Uh, so I can just take a five. Yeah, and ahead. you didn't buy any red to help Liz erase her red. Okay. <laughs> Funny that. Don't Funny worry, how that guys. Works out, yeah? I have my own plan. Lizzie's super devious. You never know what she's going to do. It's your turn. Right? I'm, it is. I'm just separating these to see what I need to purchase in, in the. You can do that like on other people's turns. You can uh, do that I was talking turn. and looking at my cards. So rude. I know it was very rude. Uh, it's going to be like what? an eight hour game, guys. No, it's not. How many I'm guild seals do I out there? I have two. I have you one, one two, two, three. I have four. We have four together. So four. two, one, and one. I have four total. Uh, so I'm going to do this. The liquidator, I gain two coins for every seal. So that's eight. And I get seven transactions. So first transaction. Bree, could you read me what the objectives over there are? This one is starts at 11 points for each of your completed stone. Okay, okay. Also 11, use founders, delvers, or traders score for each your non-starter crew from that guild. Wow. Uh, sorry, the first one, all three of them have a max of so, Oh, max so like of 30. 33 points. Sure, um, sure, sure, sure. 33 also for this one, uh, 11 points for each guild where you have two or more seal. Okay. So you said starters don't count? Right. So, and it maxes at three? Yep. Of Dang, the I'm same. So close. Okay. Uh, three of the same. Dang, so close. Dang, so close. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to uh, first purchase. So it was, what was the bottom one again? For each guild where you have two or more. So oh, I have one, but I only have. No, there's only one where you oh, have two or dang. more. I need to get some more seals on the board. Okay. So let's purchase some stuff. Uh, I'm going to purchase seven yellow. What is that? Can it cost me seven dollars? Yep. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. And then it goes up seven, right? Big yep. spender. Five, six, seven. Go ahead, Lizzie. Okay. Three, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. I am going to do the broker, so I can move a resource up twice. I'll just move yellow up. Six. Then two. So that's twelve. Wow. So that's two Make sure of you my move six. It down two. Yep. And then I'm going to sell the green one. So that's three. Okay. That's five. Okay, and then we have five. One. Five. This out. What do you. I am going to do. You can score that again. Three for each shelf bearing tile, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, max eight, to a so 24. I max to 24. Yep, 24 so points. So I'm turning 26 in, I gain a 50. Nice. Nice. So that was one, two, four. So I still have two left. Have so two I'm going to spend two You're gonna sell them? to get six. Well played. And I have a movement, and I'm going to go... 
Bank on that. <laughs> Mike says, in fairness, the last 50% of the game tends to happen all within two rounds. <laughs> it's true. Everybody just goes bam, 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 bam. Don't get a bunch of stuff. Plays all the cards out. Not if I, but I can. You can. Sure can. Yep. Uh, especially for Skysiders, because you'll notice in the market that uh, they're all sync side up. If you think you're going to purchase a card, you can look at the back side. Uh, it's liquidator. I gain two coins for each deal I have on the board, and I gain seven. Uh, I purchase. I. So this actually um, brings in a good question that your scholar is now essentially just ditch it, but that actually helps her. She's just going to discard it as any type because you can't copy any of our. I'm all on my own. You. you can. We can copy each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's okay. Right. I'm fine being all by myself. I will do that. You're gonna copy mine. Yep. I so how many? It. You how many guild? You have two, four, six. She gets six coins, and then you get seven trains. Pretty decent. Ben. Sell a yellow. Okay. To pump it down because I know you're gonna you're gonna want them. Stop it, Bree. <laughs> Here. All right. Can you so bump that's yellow for down. Five. Yellow down. Yeah, yellow, yellow goes, goes down, down to four. One, and I get five. Yeah, she's. But that was a smart move because I could have cashed in heavy on those. That's the only one I had. What was I can? Five. Reds at two. Blue and red are both at two apiece. Crazy cheap. So confusing to me because I keep like putting my cards face down so you guys can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> but then I look at it and I'm like, wait, what's on the back of them? I'm confusing myself. There's so much. <gasps> I'm like, wait, I have my turn planned out. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> I'm going to buy red. five red. So I'll take these. So these that go goes down, up. right? No, uh, it goes up. One, goes up. two, three. And that's you getting five, yeah? yeah? And I have one more. I can just take. That's okay. You can have them. There's plenty of little resources. Little candies. The little candies. And you get one more turn of that after, yes. right? Yes. Um, Man, you're making things more expensive idea. for me. This is not cool. <laughs> I don't want to spend more money. That's on purpose. Now Lizzie's over there, like I'm just gonna sell everything, and me and Bree are over here fighting over <laughs> the prices. Don't buy the cheap stuff. Oops. Okay. So can you bump green down one and she there you go. Wait, did we? Oh yeah, because I bought the bought the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And you cannot sell and buy the same resource in the same round, which is very obvious. Alright, I'm gonna use the councilman. I'm gonna gain five on the founders right here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So I get to place a guild. And I also draw the last card. Can you grab that for me? I'm sorry, I can't reach it. Um, but he was gonna try, guys. And then I also get to draw and place two ocean. And you still gain the toxicity. Uh, which is none. <laughs> but I got a red and another green. So I'm going to place two tiles. And I'm going to place uh, one for three. And. Oh, and I score points. 
So this is by itself, so it's just going to be 2 times 1 for 2 points, please. Thank you. And then my second tile, I'm going to place... Kind of stinks. I don't want to, but I really want a sonar. Nope, I got to do it. Sonar is way more important. So this is going to score me uh, 3, 6. Uh, 3 times 1 for 3. Right, so not great, but it raises the sonar, which means I immediately score 14 points. So if I could get... I'll just, get, I'll just get the 15 and then give you one back. How about that? Yeah. And that's it for me. Okay. That's I'm very good for Lizzie. So now she's going to... Translator, so I'm going to go up two on one track. So I'm going to one, two. So if you'll give me a yes. Yep. And then discard X series to gain X with the yellow. So I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to go... Give me another nice. yellow. Nice. Well played. So then this goes underneath and this one goes... Correct. Not that it matters because no one can copy my stuff. That's true. You are you're mine. In it. <laughs> All alone. It's the gear head. Back. Oh, so the backside is going to let you roll research dice, and you can discard um, other delvers to roll more research dice. Okay. So the more delvers you're able to discard, the better. The more dice results you'll. You also get influence in a yes, guild. Yes, I get two influence with a guild, and then I get to draw up to three ocean tiles and discard that many. Nice. Let me do my. Yeah. Yep. I get a coin. Back, and you go up one more. That was only two. I move two. I only three? I only gain two. Oh, no, you only get two. Card. My bad, my bad. Uh, but I do get you one point. more card. There you go. Draw you get to up draw to up to. Yeah. Oh, just be careful with your microphone there. Oh. So can I do the same thing that Lizzie did with the draw eight? Does what does it say? Does it say up draw to up to three? Yeah, we draw. If it says up yeah. to, then you, you draw how many you want. Well, I guess toxicity. Toxicity still, still matters. Still matters. Yeah. Okay. Still matters. All right. All three. Okay. And also, when you see the uh, the outpost, it's also going to be an outpost on the, like on both sides. Mm -hmm. okay. And also, if that's an artifact, it's a sonar on the river. Yeah. Yes. So you, can, so you can okay. see that. Oh, heck yeah, that track's moving I'm discarding up. that many from my observer. That track is going to move, move, move. Does that mean Nine that times. I can't discard one of the ones that I drew? You can. That can be, yeah. like, this is Draw all three and then discard my... three. Yeah, they're going to your reserve, okay. so you can discard any three you'd like. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm going to play the proprietor. Uh, I gain eight transactions. And then I may retire this crew to draw an artifact. So eight transactions. The first transaction is I'm going to buy the middle outpost. Like, or the middle objective. So I'm going to pay for an outpost at 20 and place this on my outpost here. And I have three founders, three non-starter founders. All right. Ah, dang it. Two. Two. So 24 points. 24 points. Not bad. Yeah, it one. could have been better. Eight. Could have been better. Not bad. Uh, that was my first transaction. You just my... <laughs> You're just throwing them across the board. <laughs> so that's your first thing. My second transaction is going to be to buy blues. Uh, I'm going to buy five blues. Actually, what's it at right now? Two. Two. So that would be ten. And I have six left. I could technically buy six for twelve. Oh my goodness. I can't buy any berries at the moment. So yeah, give me all the blues. Well, yeah. I'm buying six blues for 12. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ditch this uh, trader to draw an artifact. Yeah. See what we get here. See if there's anything good. There's only three left in the bag. And it is... 
Gain one. It's a centrifuge. One of every resource. That is actually amazing for me right now. <laughs> and then okay. go ahead. I'm going to do the emissary. So two different tracks. So I'm going to place a seal here. And one place a seal here. And I'm also going to get to place a tile down. Tile? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It is really good. It's so good. Okay, so I've completed that. Nice. So, so you get to draw go. one of the last two artifacts. Um, I get a card. Yeah, you draw one of the guild members. There's like, <laughs> actually, you get a choice. Do you want points? I'm going to take two points. Yeah. This is coming down the wire. We're like two rounds away, I think. And I get to move up here. Another two points. Yep. Did you gain your two influence on two different tracks? Yeah. Okay. I put out seals. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. That's it. Wait. I did have three different founders. See? Tier 2, Tier 1, Tier 1. I knew I did. So I need another 12, 12, 12 points. 11. Oh, 11, 11 points. Yeah, no, another. 12. 11. All three. Oh, that one was 12. Yep. Yeah, okay, that one 12. was different. Reading is hard. It's okay. That one was different. Numbers look like they were there all we the go. same. I knew I had gotten <laughs> another, because I was like, I really want to do that one. I knew I did. Okay, okay cool. Okay. All right, I'm glad I could prove that. Okay. I'm not. I want to win. I'm not. So this is still draw in place. Yeah, draw in place and ocean the, tile. But now they're now they're sky tiles for us. Yeah. So it's actually it's draw and build. But I but I have to build it. You can build out of your reserve. It go draw into your reserve, build from your reserve. I see. It doesn't okay. have to be whatever you draw. All right, I'm gonna play a mayor, which is gain three influence with one guild and an additional influence with one guild with other speaker. Oh, so that's so good. Free okay. speaker in your discard. Five. Yep. What are you going up on? The founders, yep. so one, two. Did you want to skip? Were you in the middle? I was there. Yeah, so one, right. two, so you draw and build. Yep. Did you want to skip? skip? So three, four, five. You're going to get to draw and build two uh, tiles. And that's it. <laughs> yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, it's two. So, and these friendly ties or no? What? Sure. Uh, no, ties yeah. goes to the person who has the less toxicity. So, this one. So but Bri and I are exactly we'll the figure same that out when on we get toxicity. There. Uh, so you placed, what is that, green? Yep. So the green dial is currently at one. Do you have any green buildings in that no, watercraft? Nope, doesn't count. That's going to be two points. Is that green as well? It is also green. Okay, so first we're going to score the tile. Mm -hmm. So that's three times one, which mm -hmm. is three points. And then you completed sonar, which is going to give you 12 points. So look, Lizzie, now when you dive, you get survivors, which could be a crazy amount of points. There is no way to make Yeah, I get two. Okay. Lizzie, 50. I can break the 50. What do you want? <laughs> can you break I, my 50 points? I need to be able to get 12 20, out of it. So any, any combination 20, really will work. One other... Here, I can break. Here. Okay. 
You got it? Okay. Put it in there. I'll sort it. And then you get the 50? Nice. Okay. So Lizzie has a third of the points. I have more no than a third. Well, you have more than a third. I don't have no many. I have no, no idea how many I have. Oh, uh, no, that was Bree's turn. She's going to Oh, play. and I got two. Yep, so she's going. All right, so now it's my turn. I am going to... Uh, James just stepped in to say, roll tide, y'all. Roll tide, y'all. <laughs> Did you play a founder? No. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to play the mason. I get to build two tiles and discard X founders to, to build up to an additional. So I'll discard my handyman to draw an additional tile or build an additional tile. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend uh, three yellow to build my first to put it into here. So check this out, y'all. One, two, three, four. Four times one is... Uh, four times one is four. It's four points. So four points for me, please. Give a one. Or do you want I get a one. I get a one. Yeah. And then my second tile I'm going to build is a four blue, which is going to go here. Whoops. Here. Which is only going to score me one point. But it completes like a sonar what? for 11 points, technically. So, wow. what? No. 10 plus 1. Oh. So, if you want to give me give me the 20 and I'll give you 10 back. There you go. There you go. It's 11. No. Huh? Either way, 10, 10 11, oh. you gave me 20, so you need one. I need yeah. one back. One more here. And I can build one more tile. So, I'm going to build a 2 yellow to build out here to finish this out. No, I guess I can still come off here. So one, two, three, four, four yellow. Wait, one, two, three, four, five yellow. So five points. All right, we are coming down to the end of the game here. All right, I'm done. Okay, my turn. I'm going to the operator so I can get to seven transactions. So that's 16. They're both on time too. So that mm -hmm. five, five, ten, fifteen, thirty. I'm gonna spend thirty, take one back, this out here. Each shelf bearing because I have the max four points, which probably ends it. So ten. Then we have one final round. 11, and 12, if you need more points, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I need three. Do you have three. the other bag of victory points? You should. Right here. There it is. It's all high stuff, though. Uh, well, that's okay, because we're going to need it. So, oh, I know. I need three uh, single ones, out. though. Here. That's fine. I'll give you singles. Give me a 50. 20, 40. Four, five, nine. Dang, I was short by one. So here, okay, I got it. Here, there's twenty-five and five ones. Okay, there's fifty. Okay. And I'll take all your. Points. But you've completely depleted. That's yeah, the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. Ten. So these are options. We did it. We got to the end. 18, 20, Perfect. All right, Bree. It is your turn. Right? Is that all you had, babe? Or you got more transactions? Um, I, I mean, I picked up more, but I don't have anything. I don't have anything to sell. I don't have okay. anything. To... Putting back. By the way, I'm turning in 20. Mm -hmm. uh, four fives for a 20. Just that we can have more. Also turning in another four fives for twenty. And that's it. I'll trade in fives. Can you leave those out if you want? The economist. They give me four coins. Four. Yep. Mm -hmm. That gets me seven transactions and then two victory points for each other trader in my discard pile. No way. How many is that? Four. Four. I two cards, so four. Four, four victory points. Five. 
first thing in the That one I can build at this price. Else is gonna be I don't want to build outpost. Yeah, so you pay an additional 10 if you don't have an outpost spot. Oh, it's 20 for a sky side. Dang. We're going to spend the big bucks. There's 22 for first one. Okay. Two raiders, green. Yeah, so you get. Of. Yep. So, so two. 16. 16 points. So, can you give me four back? I, no? Five. Uh, <laughs> hold on, you need 16 total? Maybe. I think I can just give you 16. Okay. Five, 10, 15. Yep. Right. Great. All right. So that's one transaction. Ow. Does everyone get an extra turn? Like, yes, okay, you also yeah. get another turn. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't want to you complain your turn? Yeah, obviously. Um, okay. Oh, I'm gonna see. Mm -hmm. um, What's this? that one? This is a oh, for each you can put yourself sonar. sonar. Dang, another 22? No, I only have one. Oh, so uh, okay. 11. Just good. trying to, that one, I'm just trying to keep you from I know. getting the Stop double it. up on Stop that. it, stop it. So that's two transactions. No. Pretty much. So many spells during this game. Crazy. <laughs> you like did pretty good. <laughs> Confidence. But I also counted up how much I have. Hey, stay away! You don't know what I got. I do. You don't know what I have. I do. How much do you have? Right there. Do you have more than me? Yeah. Or how much? I have a hundred. You have you have me by four points. It's got to be real close. Okay, 50, 70, 90, 110, 124. I like 127. Oh. These? Uh, if, I, if I don't sell everything, is it just waste, wasted? I think it's wasted. Uh, I'll look at the back end of the spring real quick. Uh, so at the end of the game... Well, money isn't worth anything. One point for every $5 you have. Oh. One point for every two resources you have. Gain or lose based on your toxicity. And then for each guild, the player with the most gets 10. See, the player with the most skills gets 10. Second gets five. Yep. So, I should so you as should as as sell as much as possible. Yep. Two greens for eight. Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, ben Akers is here. He wanted to know if I saw that the Astros won. I have not watched any of the World Series or uh, mm -hmm. NLDS this year. I'll watch, or the World Series is coming up. I haven't watched any of the playoff baseball, That's but I'll watch the World out. Series because the Astros versus the. Uh, um, National should be and good. I think the Astros. Oh, yeah, oh you turn all this in. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, how much did these move down? You oh. sold, right? I, yeah, I sold two greens and three. Hey, stop! You're making me get less. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> My turn? Yes. yes. Six transactions. First, I'm going to do, I'm going to sell uh, one green for five, four coins. Four. Mm -hmm. Points, please. Okay, and then can you read to me what the top objectives are available? Eight points for each completed sonar circle. Okay. Five Two. points for the yeah, non starters. Yeah, for the non starters. And 11 for each guild where you have two. I only have. I'm so going to take the top, the middle, middle. No, the top one. I have two completed sonar oh, circles. Yeah. So I'm going to pay the 22 to place this here. And score uh, 18 points. So I'll do 20 back. And then I'm 
got five. That was one transaction. I have five mm -hmm. left. Five. 14. I sell this yellow for three. I have four left. I'm going to sell both of these red for four. Okay, so I have those. I have one transaction left. I don't think I can do for anything. 50? Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Take these red back. Put those red back up. I realized I have this five blue chip. Oh, yes. So I will sell five blue how for 25 points. I have five left. So how many transactions? I have five transactions oh, left. Okay. Or no. Hold on. Raise the yellow. Two yellow? I yeah. Sold. I'm going to do my... So I have five transactions. I'm going to sell four blue for 20 coins. I have one transaction left. So I have one blue left nope, did that. i had oh, six. six i asked how many oh, you said you had this five. is you i'm not... mathing it let me do me i got this i just spent 40 can't get there i don't think 20 25 6 27 30 or nope i don't have enough so i will sell the last blue for five okay so i'm done that's Wait, it for didn't me. Didn't you already sell blues? That oh, was no. in the Did same transaction. I sold okay. this so out of the Yeah. Okay. We're just mapping it out. There's a lot of math. as complicated as possible. There is okay. so much math in this game. Gain three influence on one thing. So we hope. You Ooh. know I'm terrible at math. So I'm going to get two. Why would you make me play One victory <laughs> point. <laughs> so and much then, math. And I'm going to discard this to get. All right, nice. that's the game. We made it. Um, I ended it around. Oh, no, that was the rounds. You ended it, and we went a full turn around. Oh. It's over. <laughs> it is done. Yeah, all right, so it. once all victory points have been taken from the supply, you finish the round, and all players have an equal number of turns, and each player takes one final turn. Uh, so, yep. So actually, Bree, you get one. You get one more turn. Because you were last. Started. Yeah. Okay. You were last. You get one. La you get one more turn. Because we finish the round out, and then we play one more round. So you have one last turn, Bree. Mm -hmm. I'd be able to build another. I did not do a good job of raising those guild mark very well. That would have been much better for me. <sighs> Also, because I had so much yellow, I wasn't really paying attention to raising the yellow one. There's just so much to track in this game. I love it. I love how much my hurts playing this game. All right. Hey, the investor. Now your crew make up to one transaction. Your card. Yep. Only two, but that's two but transactions. I'll take, it. I'll take it. I get two coins. All right. And then... You doing? You think I'm gonna cheat? <laughs> no. Give me some points. I no, need a I need a handicap like ten. You didn't. You had barely I have 40, enough. I have forty-two, and I need forty-nine. So close. To build How about this, a loan? But I give don't... me two victory points. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now we're now we're venturing into brass. Territory. No, yeah. Now we're going to brass. No. Uh, and I can. Like I could sell one thing, but it's not it worth enough be worth to get enough. me to twenty nine to forty nine. Because every two is worth one, so you might as well just keep it. Well, no, I'm saying like if I could get oh, to forty nine, if red was high enough, I could do it with one transaction and then use the other transaction to right. buy that, but it's right. not. So, so good. These are each worth one, and gold is gold five. is five to one, and resources are two to one. Is that it? All right, so yep. uh, every five coins you have is worth one victory point. One. So I have one, so four, five, eight. six, seven. It's seven, five plus two. And you can just oh. turn your money in. Oh, wait. I was going to give you two for five. Oh, for sure. Your money. 
Uh, every two resources is worth a victory point. I have no resources. I have none. So you get one victory point, Bree. Uh, gain or lose indicated. I lose 15 points. Um, and then for each guild, we're going to figure out who wins. I get one here, so I have 10. I get five. Okay. I have it here, so I get 10. I you and Bree are tied. Nope, Bree. but Bree gets the tie. So she's five. This toxicity. Okay. Derek has it here, so he gets 10. Yep. Me and Bree are tied, and we are tied on toxicity. Exactly. Uh, okay, so case of a tie to play Further, most crew cards win. Uh, I think it's one. Player the least toxicity breaks the tie. Further ties are friendly, where all tires receive a bonus they qualify for. Yep, okay. so friendly ties. And then how about the last one? Everybody? I get yep. 10. Oh. And I get 5. Yep. Dang it. Stupid toxicity. Oh, I can't. Um, and that's it. The person with the most points wins. Definitely. Let's take another tip. Get out of here, Luke. Who invited you? This is my house. <laughs> 147. I mean, 174. <laughs> How many do you have again? 147. 150. Ah, oh. one hundred one. Nice. Hey, you broke a hundred. That's I'll a third of the points you got. You got your third of the points. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie was just selfish. She took more than what she needed. <laughs> more than what I needed. Exactly how many I needed. Oh man. Anyways, that's how you play Flotilla. Uh, again, there's so much to do. Uh, thanks to Wiz Kids for. The review copy of the game we've had so much fun this is my technically fourth game but more like three and a half because we played a half game earlier <laughs> uh lizzie's played twice now uh breeze played this one and two. a half it's yeah, two i count as i count as two so i played four times um lizzie what do you think about the game do a review heavy. it's so deceptively heavy it's deceptive. but honestly once you figure out all the symbols it's really not as bad as the way you were describing it. I don't know, maybe you just make things sound more difficult. What do you mean? Like when you're like, think side and then you flip it. No, but there's stuff. so much to And like when about. Derek was talking there's about so it, I was like, planning. oh no. But I, I knew actually, you'd be able to do it really well. Oh well, yeah, I actually very much enjoy this game. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it played too, because Derek and I could do it oh really gosh, quickly. Oh my gosh, yeah. If and Mike is still watching, try it out anyway. I think we're probably just going to try it too, just just to see what happens. Like, I know that it doesn't could officially terrible, play it too. but... Uh, hey, it's Jim, our game now. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna try it. Jim Garner said, uh, "Night all, good night, good night Jim. Thanks for popping night. in." Simon Mounds, he's here. Hi, nice Simon. to see you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Bree, what do you think? I really enjoyed it. I'm a huge fan of Concordia, so right away, the, the card mechanic had my attention. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot to think about, but once you start to pick up cards and kind of yeah. know what your mm -hmm. options are, yeah. it's pretty easy to make a decision on each turn for sure. without having without sure. getting too stuck. Yeah, I mean, because it really does boil down to just playing a card and taking the action. Uh, but then depends on like what kind of guilds you're trying to go for, mm -hmm. like what your long range plan is. Are you planning to flip sky side, or are you just gonna play in the long game and just stay sink side? I am super impressed that Lizzie has one skiff on the board and won the game. Yes, as a too. sink sider, like what? <laughs> what? Well done. Seriously, yeah. well done. Uh, but yeah, this is deceptively, uh, has a lot more, like, things to think about, but again, it, it is pretty, I'd say it's a little heavier than Concordia. Yeah. Only because you have that flip, which is really where a tough decision can be yeah. done. But in the best possible way. Oh, the like best the possible way. Heavier, but not, like, in any way no, that makes it No, you're, like, heavy. in the brass burning hands, Lancashire. I'm not, like, like brain type. burnt, though. Like, I'm not, like, oh, my gosh, I can't play anything. Like, you could definitely play a game after this. I, I can't, so... But, again, I didn't play earlier this afternoon. This is their second game of Flotilla today. So, let me... This is only my first. Let me expand, expand a little bit about why I think it's heavy. I think that it's deceptively heavy if you choose flip, because you have to manage your resources a little bit tighter than if you were a sink Plus, sider. you kind of have to like relearn your cards again. You, yep, you you relearn what your cards do, and because they're all asymmetric, you have a brand new hand of cards. So there's a little bit, there's more heaviness 
in the flip mm -hmm. than if you just say straight center. Right. That's kind of why I don't flip. <laughs> but but, but that's to be the fair, thing, it though. really works for me because I'm the last one holding out. Then they're raising everything so that it's clear for me to get the coins that way. And then they're kind of relying the, on the me. The sonar track. That, I mean, yeah. Honestly, I would love playing whichever to play this game. game. You know, you feel because this is the way I wanted to play, and it worked out for me. And Derek likes to flip halfway through and. Does really well that way too. I mean, it was really down to the wire. I was like counting everything out. Like, am I gonna beat so, him? So yeah, Bree, actually, you're the one that forced me to flip because I really wanted to score off another one of those sink slider objectives. But when you flipped, I was like, you're gonna get all those to yourself, and I was like, I can't <laughs> let that happen. So I was like, all right, I'm flipping, um, which ended up, you know, working out fine. Yeah, I would have focused completely on that. Yeah. One of you flip. And one of the really cool parts about it is that these uh, objectives, mm -hmm. um, well, don't, not that they're double-sided, but the fact that you can actually play into it. Like, mm -hmm. what you're drawing and playing on the board, uh, eventually you're going to gain into your reserve, which can actually lead, if you plan to flip, you can see, okay, cool, I've got a lot of artifacts, which when I flip means I'm going to have a lot of sonar, which is what you need to go up the sonar track. So there's lots of ways to see what's going to happen. And mm -hmm. also noticing that, uh, you know, you've got these buildings, which are going to augment your your score for the guild dials. I didn't do a very good job. I think, you know, if you're sky side, you really need to focus on raising the guild dials, which I would have done using the research a little bit more. Um, but you just get pulled in so many different directions mm -hmm. and such the best way, right? And the double-sided tiles, of these become symmetrical also. So every mm -hmm. game yep. has essentially- All of the tiles are both double-sided for the sky side and for the sink side and i think that's oh my gosh the variety because there's five different tiles uh well i mean there's actually 10 different tiles on all double sided so there's 20 tiles so the difference of what's out there on the game really changes changes the dynamic i love the influence track i love everything about this game i've been gushing about it since i played a prototype <laughs> in january i mean this february. is my number february thank you this is my number one game of the year there's nothing i've played that has just created such a fun puzzle for me this year than this game i mean when lizzie told me that this was your number one game of the year i i know it was i mean i believe come you. live stream with us and she's like sure i was like it's Derek's number one game and lizzie. i get it i like, say i love a lot of like, games i get it yeah okay. i was <laughs> like i'm sure i'm sure i'll enjoy it yeah. but i didn't expect it to be in the running for my number one game of the year and i know it definitely is it's 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 gonna be up there up full, high for a lot of players a lot of gamers are really going to fall in love with this one, especially if you like the games we talked about. Brass, Arkwright, uh, Concordia, Plans of Caledonia, um, Raccoon Tycoon, yeah. <laughs> which is a lighter <laughs> version of those games. But I mean, you add all these awesome kind of uh, layers mm -hmm. from Carcassonne, and you've got the, the player-regulated market. You've got guild tracks, which have a little bit of area control. You've got uh, set collection, dice rolling. There's so many layers to this game that I feel like I could play this 10 times and not play. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, what do you think? Thumbs Good. up for me. Thumbs up? Thumbs, thumbs up. up for sure. All right, thumbs up for me too. Thanks again so much for watching, everybody. I uh, appreciate you sticking around. I think one of the first times we've ever gone over two hours for our life. Uh, Doesn't I happen mean, very often. Maybe with Mezzo, because that was a four-player game. Mezzo was a long one. But this, sure. This is also the heaviest meant. game we've live streamed. Definitely the heaviest game. Hopefully, maybe we'll do some more like this. My first time live stream. Yeah! <laughs> Let's give a hand of, a round of applause. Give a hand to Bree. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you. Hopefully, you come back. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us on your Saturday night. And if you're rewatching it and you have any questions, you know, give us any comments. Let us know that you rewatched it on the replay. Yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, follow all the things to our channel, Board Game Spotlight, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. YouTube, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah. Anyway, see everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye.